Hello and welcome to another Watch Report video review. My name is James Stacey and today we'll be taking a look at the Victorinox Infantry Vintage Mechanical Chronograph. Something of a long name, so I'm just going to call it the Infantry Vintage. Uh, what you get in this watch is kind of a pseudo-military style. It's fairly modern, uh, fits in well with the rest of the Victorinox range. It's a 44.5 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 15 millimeters tall, including this bezel. 23 millimeter lug sizing, so if you're uh, looking to fit an alternative strap to this kind of gray suede finish strap, uh, that may be hard to find one in 23 millimeters. And lastly, you get a 50 millimeter lug to lug. So while it is kind of a large, sporty chronograph, uh, the lug to lug is actually not so long that it wouldn't suit an even smaller wrist than mine. The sapphire crystal is triple coated to reduce glare and reflections. And as you can see, it actually does a really good job even with all of the uh, studio lights that I have running right now. Uh, powering the mechanical chronograph is the ubiquitous ETA 7750. Um, a lovely movement that gives you uh, a two register readout on this model and uh, your main seconds display, but I'll explain that more in a moment. Uh, you get a date measure down here. Unfortunately, the date wheel is white. The case itself does not feature a screw down crown, so you're looking at about 100 meter water resistance, which is uh, 330 feet. So what I'll do now is I'll walk you through uh, the process of the chronograph. We're also going to show you a loom shot, and lastly, we're going to put it on wrist. Okay, so for those of you who may not have used an automatic chronograph, uh, they're used much in the same way as a quartz chronograph. Uh, you get uh, start and pause on the top pusher, reset from the pause position on the bottom pusher. On uh, this model, if you take a close look, the running seconds, so the seconds that team up with your main time, is right here at 9 o'clock. Uh, the chronograph measures use the main second hand for a maximum read of 60 seconds with, they say, one quarter second resolution using the tiny hash marks on the dial itself. Uh, the top register gives you a uh, maximum read of 30 minutes with a resolution of one minute. And uh, so as the main second hand passes the 12 mark, uh, the one minute register clicks ahead one minute. Not too difficult. When it maxes out at 30 minutes, it passes uh, 30 minutes worth of measure to the bottom maximum 12 hour register. So you get a 12 hour chronograph, which is very simple to read, very easy to take uh, even long and advanced measurements. And you get a pause feature. So if you're noting times, uh, this one will do that for you just fine. So if you take a nice look here, we have the uh, profile of the case. It's a lovely finish case. You get a gun metal finish on this, which matches beautifully with kind of the dark coppery brown metal dial and the green uh, luminous material used on the hands and markers. Now, the overall aesthetic is quite unique, and I really like it. Um, it's not like anything else. It seems to match up nicely with a pair of jeans, and uh, I really enjoy the, the gray strap, which I'll show you more of when we get to the wrist shot. Starting the chronograph, just like that, and you'll see the main second starts to run. As that second advances, again, past the 12, you get uh, an indication of one minute on the top register. When it spans past 30, you get an indication of 30 minutes on the bottom register. Pretty easy to use. You want to pause the chronograph, make your reading, and then reset. Piece of cake. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll just take a, a nice close look at the loom. So we're going to give it a charge up. Okay, so here's an example of the loom on the Victorinox Infantry Vintage Mechanical Chronograph. As you can see, it's actually quite bright. Uh, the hands glow very well, as do these little markers at 12, 3, 6, and 9. Uh, the numerals on the dial glow very brightly as well. It possibly just doesn't show up as bright in the video in the contrast uh, to the hands. The end result is something that we were really pleased with. Uh, certainly the luminosity of the hour and minute hand was definitely long enough to be used, say, through a, through a movie at the theater and uh, it was much more than we expected so uh, kudos to victorinox for fitting this out with the correct uh, type of loom this glows nicely and uh, it lasts for a fair amount of time uh, so what we'll do now is we'll just take a look at a wrist shot okay so here we'll put the uh, infantry vintage on wrist as you can see it comes with a lovely matched finish push button deployment clasp this is great um, no cut corners here lovely finishing just like the case exemplifies and Putting it on is nice and simple. The leather strap is kind of a gray with a suede finish. It is exceedingly comfortable. 
uh, and a very soft matte finish with a uh, match stitch, which is definitely what we prefer. This is a nice modern looking choice in the uh, in a watch. The uh, the buckle sits nicely flat, and uh, there's no problem at all with the bulk. 15 millimeters tall, uh, so if you're used to a dive watch, this should be no problem at all to suit your wrist. And with a 50 millimeter lug to lug, even on my seven and a half inch wrist, you can see it doesn't span uh, the entire set of my wrist. The Victorinox Infantry Vintage Mechanical Chronograph, very long name. Uh, pricing starts at uh, $17.95 on a leather strap. Uh, likely that can be found for less at an authorized retailer or online. And at that price point, uh, you're looking at a pretty good value. It's a, a beautiful case with lovely finishing, excellent dial details, which you'll see in some of the macro shots, um, a fully mechanical chronograph, which is hard to find um, at this price point from a very well-known brand, and you get a lovely strap to boot. For Watch Report, my name is James Stacy, and this has been our review of the Victorinox Infantry Vintage Mechanical Chronograph. Thanks very much for watching.